The PGA Tour is one of the most prestigious sporting associations in the world, and we are honored to have you be a part of it. One of the most important aspects of running one of our tournaments is the safety of our guests, including participants, spectators, volunteers, vendors, and employees. The PGA Tour and our tournaments have always stood for excellence. We set the standard on all levels, including golf cart safety. We expect anyone driving a cart at our tournaments to exercise caution and to follow our golf cart safety and to set a culture of safety. To that end, we thank you in advance for watching this video on golf cart safety. Given the large pedestrian crowds, temporary structures, and fluid operations, golf tournaments present a unique environment that requires special attention to safety. Golf carts are a necessary part of the operation in a tournament, but they can be dangerous if not handled properly. Golf cart accidents are due primarily to driver error and the environment in which they operate. For example, accidents may occur due to a vendor, volunteer, or employee running into a spectator with a golf cart. Accidents can also occur due to golf carts being hit by or hitting an automobile, passengers being ejected or falling off golf carts, and golf carts hitting stationary objects, including buildings, other golf carts, trees, low-hanging branches, bushes, curbs, fences, and ropes. We also know that high speed, hidden corners, hilly terrain, and spectators running out in front of golf carts are all contributing factors to these accidents. In order to prevent accidents and injuries and to provide an enjoyable experience for all who attend our tournaments, it is important that anyone driving a golf cart understands the expectations, operations, and enforcement of our golf cart safety rules. Now let's cover important safety rules we've established to prevent golf cart related accidents and injuries. Safety rule number one, only authorized people may drive a golf cart. We only allow authorized people who have been properly trained to drive a golf cart at a tournament. Drivers should be at least 18 years of age and carry a valid driver's license. All golf carts are specifically assigned at our tournaments. Do not drive a golf cart that is not assigned to you or allow a guest to drive your assigned golf cart. The driver has full responsibility for the safe operation of the assigned golf cart at all times. So how do you prevent yourself, as the driver of the golf cart, from being involved in an accident? Follow the rest of these safety rules to reduce your risk of an accident. Safety rule number two, no golf cart will be operated by an intoxicated person. You must not consume alcohol or drugs as they will impair your ability to drive. Even a small amount of alcohol can impair your thinking, reasoning, and reaction time. You need total control of all your faculties when operating off-road around thousands of spectators and other moving vehicles. Also, even prescription and over-the-counter medications can affect your ability to drive. If you are taking medications, consult the label and even your doctor to help you decide if you should drive. Safety rule number three, prior to driving the golf cart, check to see if it's set to go forward or backward and make adjustments as necessary. Each time you move the golf cart, always check to make sure the shifter is set to go in the direction you intend. If people are expecting the cart to go forward and it suddenly goes backward, they can slide right up the seat and be injured. Also, you could back right into a cart, obstruction, or person behind you. Safety rule number four, do not overload the golf cart with passengers or supplies. You should never exceed the number of passengers the golf cart is designed to carry. Three people might fit in the front seat, but now you are cramped for space and it becomes very difficult to control the cart. Don't allow anyone to ride on the back platform of the vehicle. The vehicle is not designed for the weight of a person on the back platform. This will change the center of gravity of the vehicle and increase the risk of a rollover, not to mention the high likelihood of the person on the back being ejected from the cart. Always use a four-person golf cart or multi-person cart to shuttle players and caddies or to transport multiple people. The same principle applies when transporting supplies on the golf course. Always be sure that supplies are properly secured and the weight is evenly distributed before driving. If you are driving the ADA shuttle cart, take precaution to drive extra slow and avoid bumps when possible. 
Children under the age of five are permitted to ride on the laps of adult passengers, and other small children may ride in between two adults or older children, not on the outside where they could easily fall out of the golf cart. Safety rule number five, do not drive the golf cart until all occupants are seated. Never put the vehicle in motion until all passengers are safely seated inside the vehicle. And don't allow passengers to enter or exit the vehicle while it is in motion. Also, make sure you and your passengers have your arms and legs inside the golf cart when it's in motion. If you brush a tree or other stationary object, another golf cart, or even a pedestrian, it could also result in a serious injury. Safety rule number six, never stand up in a moving golf cart. Never stand up while driving as you will lose your ability to properly control the golf cart. If you want to see over a crowd or obstacle, come to a complete stop, set the parking brake, and get out of the cart. Also, do not allow anyone to ride standing in the golf cart. Safety rule number seven, drive courteously and follow all traffic and operational rules on the course. Driving a golf cart is similar to driving a motor vehicle, and many of the same traffic and operational rules apply. Never make a sharp turn at a high speed. Your sudden change of direction could eject passengers, resulting in a rollover, or cause you to be struck by another golf cart operator who didn't expect your sudden change in direction. When following another golf cart, maintain a safe following distance so that if they stop suddenly, you won't rear-end them. Remember, they don't have brake lights, so it will take you longer to perceive that they're stopping. Stay in designated golf cart operating areas. You will receive guidance on where to operate golf carts, which is normally with golf carts on one side of the course and people on the other. Signs will be posted, indicating where you can and cannot drive. Never cross a barrier such as a fence or drive under a rope. It may be there to keep you out due to hazards that you can't see from where you are, such as a steep slope, loose gravel, a sudden drop-off, or a water hazard. Avoid distractions while driving, such as looking at the course map, eating, reaching for objects, talking on a cell phone, texting, and even looking at a passenger while talking. When turning, look all around the vehicle before you turn to make sure you are not being passed by another golf cart and that the area is clear of hazards and approaching people. Slow down and make a gradual turn. Always yield the right of way to pedestrians. Also, realize that an electric golf cart is so quiet that oftentimes pedestrians will not hear you approaching and may suddenly change direction right into your path of travel. Be sure to provide a verbal warning as you are driving through heavy crowds of people. Safety rule number eight, always drive straight up and down a hill. To prevent a rollover accident, always drive straight up and down steep inclines. Golf carts are not designed to traverse steep hills at an angle. The weight of you, your passengers, and cargo raises the center of gravity of the vehicle, making it easier to tip over when it's operated at a steep side angle. If necessary, drive all the way to the bottom of a hill, pumping your brakes as you descend the hill to control speed. Travel across the bottom of the hill on a flat area, then drive straight up the hill to your destination. If the golf cart stalls while traveling uphill, slowly back straight down the hill. Never allow the brakes to lock up, especially when traveling up or down a steep incline. Most golf carts only have rear wheel brakes, and when they lock up, the vehicle tends to fishtail or even spin out, and this commonly leads to a rollover accident. Safety rule number nine, slow down and drive with extra caution to adjust to course conditions. Wet grass or loose gravel increases the possibility of loss of control and a spin out. Slow down to a crawl when operating in these conditions. The faster you drive, the greater your risk of an accident. Your maximum speed should be that of a, a brisk walk, and that is only when you're in the clear, you can see all around you, and you're not approaching any hazards, such as stationary objects, including other golf carts, spectators, buildings, trees, low-hanging branches, speed bumps, etc. Safety rule number 10, set the parking brake and remove the key when leaving the golf cart. When you stop to load or unload passengers and supplies, try to stop in an area where you are not blocking the flow of other golf carts and spectator traffic. Always set the parking brake, 
even if you're only stopping for a moment. If you're going to leave the golf cart, even if only for a few minutes, take the key with you. By following these safety best practices, you can reduce the risk of having an accident. We thank you for taking the time to watch this video, to committing to a culture of safety, and to ensuring a safe environment for all attending PGA Tour events. Thank you.